Hello everybody, welcome to Black Magic Now. Welcome to the channel for real. Um, today what I'm going to be talking about is, uh, what is it, new players? I've seen a couple guys make a couple videos about new players and, you know, pretty much, you know, I've been playing for five months now and I still consider myself a newer player, but I ain't, I ain't, the, I ain't new new, but um, I know when I first started, uh, actually I'm going to tell you my story, about the story and how I got into Magic is I, I went into a, a comic book store, the neighborhood comic book store, and just to get a comic book, and a guy came up to me and he said, hey, um, check out this. It was like it was one of those little in, intro decks. He gave me a red and a green one. Uh, they're like, I think it was 30, 40 cards in them or something. Yeah, 40 card decks. And I took them both of them home that day and I looked through them. And... You know, it looked pretty cool, like a pretty cool game. And, yeah, I came back. I, I called. No, I went back to the store. And then I um, was, like, asking them, how does it work? Well, you know, because um, I remember back in the day, they were, like, Yu-Gi-Oh! tournaments and stuff. So, um, the guy goes to me, and he says, uh, we do it on Wednesdays or, or drafts. And then um, he said, Friday, we're the Type 2s, standard. And so I was, like... What's a draft? You know? And I, I didn't know what it was, so I ended up not going to that draft that week because um, I ended up going. Actually, I did. Yeah, that week I, I ended up going to a draft and learned how to draft, even though I still not, I'm not like the best drafter. Because um, I, I just, after that day, I told myself I'm not going to draft for a while because until I got good. But I ended up like three weeks later drafting and then stopped again. And with drafting, to me, I, I was, like, really, like, I'm not going to even try it until I get good. But I, I ended up, like, saying, hey, I need cards. You know, he's like, it's the best way to get cards because it's 15 bucks. And you get cards. You know, you, pretty much what you do is you get three packs. And you start with the first pack. You, you pull a card out of the, the first pack. And you pass it to you, along to the next person. And it just keeps rotating around the, the, um, the actual table until you guys run out of the cards. And you just keep opening up the other packs. You know, and go around and pretty much, and you pretty much make a deck out of those cards. Um, that's what a draft is. Um, okay, yeah. Now I'm gonna get back to the the newer uh, players. The thing is, when I first started, some people were like really cool and like gave me cards. Some people were like really like you know, being douches you call them, and they were really like don't want to you know they didn't want to help anybody like. They don't want to help. Like, if you have a question for them, they, they were really like, uh, you need to learn on your own and all that type of stuff. So, but only thing I can tell you guys, for new players that, that are just now coming into Magic, ask as many questions as you can. I mean, for real. It, you, you will be able to realize who's, you know, the good players and who's the actual, the players that are good, that are not really good. Because if you're not helping people get better, you're not really good. Because... A good person doesn't care. Like, they don't really care if the other person gets good. Because if you're good, you're going to be good. No matter what No matter what the other person is doing, you're going to be good. So, a good person, a good player, never worries about helping somebody else. Because if you're if you're true to yourself and you're good, you don't, you don't it's, it's no reason to worry about what the other person is doing. Because you're going to win or you're going to get second or, you know... It's just it, it's all about fun. First of all, when you go, when you get to any card game or any game, then you know itself. It's all for fun first. Then it's about making money, winning. All that stuff comes second. First of all, you always need to realize it's supposed to have fun when you're playing Magic the Gathering, and you're supposed to have, make friends and you're supposed to trade. That's the only reason the game is even like even out there. All right. Well, wait, what else? I, what else I want to talk about? Trading, the best way to find out if you're getting like a good trade or not is to try one of the um, websites like Star City Games, uh, TCD Player. Um, there's some other ones too, but those are the ones I use. I use Star City Games the most, but for some reason I got mad at them for a while because I actually, when I first started, they would have a card for one price, and then I would end up like trading it or give it or, or selling it to a, the shop. And then the next day, like literally the next day, it'll go up. It'll go up in price, or 
the next day it'll go so low in price. Like I'll buy a card that's like thirty dollars, and then the next day it's like twenty dollar card, and it's like what in, you know what in the world? That's one thing. Uh, another thing is watch out with, um, especially if you're YouTube trading. Um, when you go to um, a player, like go to just go to anybody's um, any Magic players um, YouTube page and look where it says trusted play trusted traders untrusted traders and the only thing what you need to do is you need the first thing you need to do is get a binder you know one of the little three ring binders and get you some sleeves um and put your cards in there um put your if you if you don't have that many rares since you're new put the rares you have on the first page and um i mean you know since you're new i would just put uncommons uncommons are the ones that, that have the little icon and it's like silver i'd put those in there too um i know a lot of people don't want to see your uncommons but a person like me like me i don't care if it's un if it's uncommon i'll look at it because i'm a person that i collect rares and uncommons you know so i, I you know like you would get me i'll probably trade you some uncommons because uh sitting in the mail it's only like 40 cents to send something in the mail um, depending on the quantity so that's gonna be pretty much it so let's do the trading I got the, I got the trading out new new players out the way um, if you guys need me to talk about anything else let me know and I actually I'll get back to you on it um, yeah happy trading everybody happy you know magic players let's let's get it going let's um, get these new people into the game ask your friend you know t tell your friend about the game like cause you know Back in the day, you know how it was, you know. I know they had, like, the the, the cartoons that were real big and stuff, like with Yu-Gi-Oh! and Pokemon. That's why they got so big, because they had a little cartoon to go with them, a little gimmick. With Magic, there's no gimmick, um, you know, to get you in there. So, what you have to do is, you have to, like, when you when you see somebody, talk to them, like, hey, check this out. I know some people get, are so scared of, like, being called a nerd or something, but, I mean, look at today, like, people have internet on their phones people are on computers all the day now they're like the people that used to be nerds i mean the people used to not be nerds are into all the nerdy stuff now so it's like i wouldn't even worry about being called a nerd or something or anything just be you know be true with yourself you know if you like magic if you like magic just tell people there's no real you know no real reason like to think that you're gonna feel bad that people know that you play magic you know those days are really over. I mean, it's, it's up to you, really. Like, if you want to be ashamed of it, you can be ashamed of it. Don't be ashamed. Just tell people. Like, there's people out there that could be playing the game right now. Like, it could be big like it used to be. I mean, it's still big, but, I mean, it, it could be like, you know, I know y'all remember Yu-Gi-Oh! and Pokemon, y'all. That was crazy. But, um, I mean, it's up to you guys, you know. There's a lot of people. It's a recession right now. There's a lot of people that could get into the game. I know, it's, you know, the cards are expensive, um, that's the only thing Magic needs to work on is getting the cards a little bit, you know, less expensive because if they had a good, like, cost curve, a lot of mo a lot more people would be playing Magic, like, a lot more. But, um, that's it, guys. So, comment on the video. Let me know what you want me to talk about next, what kind of, um, video you want me to do. I'm actually working on a movie right now. Um, I will show you some of the footage, but... I, I might upload some footage um, sometime of uh, this new movie that I'm working on. So, we'll see. Comment on the video, you guys. Click that like button. Click the like button. Click that like button. Thank you, guys.